Hi, and welcome to another video. Today, we're cutting slate with our fiber laser. Let's get started. First, open your laser software and import the SVG shape you'd like to cut out of your slate. My slate piece measures 100 by 100 millimeters, so I'll size my heart shape a little smaller to fit. Now, on the left-hand menu, select the Offset icon. This will open a dialog box. The most important setting here is the offset distance. As a rule of thumb, for every millimeter of slate thickness, use 0.5 millimeters of offset. So if your slate is 5 millimeters thick, set an offset of 2.5 millimeters. This is crucial to prevent clogging in the cut. If the gap is too small, dust will not escape properly and the cut might fail. Here are the settings I use. They work perfectly for slate, and I've never had a piece crack when cutting with them. If you're not engraving an image onto the cutout, you have two options. Set the number of passes to around 100, and stop manually once you're nearly through. Or choose Run Continuously and stop the job once you're close to the end. That's it. Let's start the cut. I'm using a 300 mm lens on my 60 watt fiber laser. Make sure to frame your slate properly before starting. For focusing, I recommend setting the focus point to the middle of the slate. So if your slate is 5 mm thick, lower the focus by around 2.5 mm. Once I've cut about 70% through, I stop the laser. This usually takes between 20 and 40 passes. Now, I take a hammer and gently tap the parts I want to remove. As you'll see, the slate breaks cleanly along the cut lines. Once done, it should look something like this. Use a file to smooth any sharp edges or leftover pieces. It already looks great. Time to clean it. I use isopropyl alcohol and a soft towel. Just apply a bit and gently rub the surface. In the end, you should have a beautiful clean-cut slate piece. Simple and stunning. Important, always work in a well-ventilated area. Slate dust is probably not healthy to breathe in. Let's make another one. This time, I'm importing a panda shape and setting the same offset as before. I'm adjusting the height to 80 millimeters this time. Next, I import the panda image I want to engrave onto the slate after cutting. I prepared it using image-r.com with the new Easy Mode feature. Here are the engraving settings I use for my 60-watt fiber laser. Now, let's start the task. Once the cutting is done, I use a soft brush to gently remove the dust. Be careful not to move the slate accidentally. Time to run the image engraving. If the first pass doesn't give enough contrast, just engrave it a second time. Now, back to the hammer. Don't be afraid. A light tap and the slate breaks perfectly along the cut line. After that, use a file again to clean up the edges. Slate is soft, so it's quick and easy to get a smooth finish. Finally, clean the panda with some isopropyl and gentle rubbing. Congratulations! You've made your first slate cut and engraving. It looks beautiful. I use mine as a garden decoration, and it still looks fantastic outdoors. So go ahead, try your own slate cuts. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.